Then for a very interesting match. This one, a featherweight contest between the unbeaten Richard Ever, a real tiger, in action against JT Kelly. Very experienced Kelly. And it's scheduled for six threes. Well, Ever, he had uh, something of a scare medically recently. But he's over that, I'm very glad to say. A former IBO Intercontinental Champion. And hasn't boxed since February of last year. So Kelly having his 53rd professional contest, 22 wins, 24 defeats, 6 draws, but uh, not a banger, only one knockout to his credit so far. So Everett, who's got a good chin anyway, shouldn't worry too much about the punching power of Kelly. Kelly on the other hand should worry about the punching power of Everett. 11 knockouts in his 13 wins, and this is quite a stiff comeback for Everett, but uh, he is being aimed at the higher echelons in professional boxing ranked 54 in the world in fact at this point by the independent world boxing rankings good right there catching Kelly Kelly managed by Tommy Conroy and interestingly in Kelly's first three fights two of his opponents went on to become British lightweight champions Tanvir Ahmed who outpointed Kelly and Wayne Rigby who was beaten by Kelly So a promising start then to the Kelly career. But ever, well, he's in a league of his own really. He's a very decent puncher, nice box fighter. Very focused as well, which is always good to see in a young fighter. Only 24 years of age. Oh, lovely double left hook then from Everett. One to the body, one to the chin. I thought they were a bit ambitious with Everett in his second fight. He fought Joe Donahoe, who was once upon a time was very well thought of, but Joe didn't get past the second round. Well, Everett stepping in behind that left hand of his and then planting those body punches beautifully. Kelly, though, at the moment, taking everything in his stride. But the power of Everett's punch really is uh, probably going to be too much for Kelly in the end, I would have thought. And Everett doesn't look for the points wins, does he? Here he goes. Good old-fashioned throwback. No frills about Everett, is there? Just wants to get on with it. And that's why he's so popular. Yet another decent fighter out of Coventry. They've produced some good ones over the end. Oh, there he goes. Body shot. Kelly on the floor in the first round from a lovely right to the rib cage. Well, it looks he looks very hurt. There's not much to get through here in this opener. Jeffrey Hines gives him the mandatory eight count. And the, the bell's not too far away. But Kelly once again oh, absorbing these wonder and he's gone again. Well, could it be over here? I wonder. Well, oh, he's up and referee Hines continues the count to the eight. And Tommy Conroy's got some work to do now. JT Kelly flattened twice in the opener by Richard Everett. And they were body shot each time. And I'll tell you something, Kelly has uh, sprung the odd surprise in his career. In fact, three fights ago, he beat Jamie McKeever. He was unbeaten at the time, McKeever. And he's been in with some good lads. Wayne Rigby a couple of times, won a loss to, to Wayne. Wayne, of course, went on to become British champion. Also fought uh, Wilson Doherty, the former British featherweight champion. David McHale, who challenged for the British title. Toncho Tonchev a couple of times, a very decent Bulgarian. So some pretty good form there on the record of Kelly. And he's coming off a win as well. But we've just seen Everett. And he loves to get in and he loves to bang. And he loves to bang hard. And that is going to be Kelly's problem. Kelly from Hartlepool, or should I say West Hartlepool, up there in the northeast. Here we go then. 
Everett once again coming out banging to the body oh, once again Kelly there having to take that uh, body shot and Everett can punch with both hands obviously favours the right of course as you can see there takes a left hook there from Kelly wants to watch that but as I say uh, John Kelly's not a big banger only one win has come inside the limit well Everett now having things all his own way here Kelly forced on the retreat Richard Everett with the Matram stable Barry Hearns his manager and they've got a real good fighter on their hands here in Everett as I say he's something of a throwback isn't he I mean back to the 40s and 50s of British fighters good old fashioned warrior and takes a shot as well by the look of things as I say, Kelly's not a, a massive puncher, but uh, Everett's not at all afraid of anything coming back at him. And Kelly doing well to sustain this barrage of shots. He's a proud warrior, Kelly. Oh, got him. Top of the head with the right hand. Well, will Jeffrey Hines allow Kelly to continue? he will but you get the feeling there's only more to come here for John Kelly once again ever whips in punches from both hands and this is why people love to see him fight he's very exciting well there's gonna come a time when hanging your chin out like that will not do Once again, Kelly, punches ripping into him, up and down, but Kelly, once again, very gamely, battles back here, oh, there he goes, lovely right uppercut left hook there, <laughs> and Kelly, well, almost disdainfully looking at Everett, saying, I'm not done for yet, well, he's bleeding, it's all over for Kelly, what a shame there for John Kelly, very game fighter, but uh, that l final left hook was... Uh, too much for Kelly and it's done some damage to his nose but Richard Everett a good fighter don't take that away from him trained by Alex Gow and George Patrick and he's a right old handful not to uh, forget Freddie King of course and his contribution to the Everett ability well Tommy Conroy's winning combination snapped here at the Granny Park Leisure Centre by a very decent Richard Everett So the Tigers back then after a health scare and he's back in very very good form well our main event still to come it's the uh, eliminated for the British super featherweight title between Carlton McKenzie and Dean Pithy